Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a product review. I'm in Portugal and as you might be able to see in the background there's a lot of hills and for a lot of hills you need a really powerful e-bike. So my good friends over at Inguin has sent me their new uh, e-bike and this one is the M20 and it's a really funny style e-bike we will get this out of the box <laughs> which the box is 43.5 kilograms so <clears throat> a very heavy bike and box i don't think anyone is really interested in watching me take this out of the box and putting it together this is most definitely not my first e-bike and it gets tiresome to uh, to see me mounting paddles again so yeah i think we'll just snap our fingers and we'll just see the e-bike won't we so it's a bit later and the box is now empty and the bike is over here i even turned it on so this is what it looks like the Enguin M20 redundant headlights they really shouldn't have it looks very much like a little motorbike and uh, yeah it has a lot of funny features uh, there's a 13 amp hour battery on there the motor is uh, 750 and I should go and figure out how long it goes and how fast it goes and so on and so forth but I guess we're gonna go and have a have a go at it later it also has a lot of gears it has a gas pedal here that um, uh, right now is probably set as paddle assist it has a container here for putting Miss Lydia's stuff in I've um, never seen that before so you can bring some stuff and put it in this little carrying case and uh, yeah it kind of makes it look good it looks like it has a fuel tank there like a motorbike so let's get a better view uh, maybe maybe not with the table but it does look kind of cool so yeah disc brakes uh, front and back and yeah I am um, just wanted to go over what was in here there is of course a power supply for charging the bicycle you can dismount the battery and you can charge it up then this thing was protecting the uh, what do you call it the brake paddles and this thing was protecting the front fork so that it wouldn't get bended in weird directions then it comes with an assortment of tools all the keys are not really included but these are the tools and they're kind of all you need to assemble this bike i do have some suggestions though because look at these numbers 8 10 13 15 14 17 so that is all good but when you're mounting the front wheel here this one is number 15 and this one is number 15 so you can't tighten it if you try to tighten one side it will just spin so so with this assortment of keys you can't really tighten the front wheel very well so i went in and i got another assortment of tools so um, i have put some of these inguin bikes together so i actually had another 15 so i could have used that but i do also have a better quality 15 so i used that then i used well this is kind of a um, just because i'm cheap so uh, it comes really well packed and there were some really nice zip ties among uh, those so uh, i saved some of those and um, this little screwdriver helped get those out in one piece and make them reusable then there is a screwdriver in the set which is this one and to be quite honest it's uh, it's a bit flimsy so I did go in and get a better quality Phillips head screwdriver 
So um, and I used scissors to uh, to deal with all the other zip ties, and yeah, that was all good. And then I brought some tools that I actually didn't use, but uh, yeah, I thought I was gonna need it, but I managed with these. Also in the package there is a manual, so it, it helps you a little bit putting it together. And then they have added some Inguin stickers. This this really reminds me of the Tesla logo, but apparently, yeah, you can you can put some stickers on there if if you <laughs> think you are in need of Inguin stickers on here. I think there's plenty, so uh, yeah, that's fine. You could put them on the fenders if you're into stickers, but uh, we can see the battery level here. It's not fully charged, which is a good thing when you're transporting a lithium ion battery. This bike might not be sold right away and then it has to sit in a warehouse for months and months on an end. And batteries don't like to be like that. But we should, should remove this plastic, shouldn't we? Mm. Ah, we'll do that tomorrow. Horn. <laughs> okay, lights on, off. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes now, so I need to wrap this up. Seven gears, Shimano gears, and some kind of a quick thinky to uh, move up and down. Handbrakes, front and back. And when you press the handbrake, the brake lights come on. So, awesome. Let's continue this tomorrow. We are now fully charged. The battery is full. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna share uh, my stupidity here because uh, I took the battery out and I mounted it on the bike and I pressed the button here and nothing happened. I must admit, this is a few days later and I've had it on the charger for a few days. So I thought, oh crap, I broke it or it stopped working. And I tried the key, falls on back, and nothing comes on here. Back with the key, nothing comes on. I put it on the bike, I tried the key, falls on back, tried to turn on the bike, nothing happened. And I took the battery with me inside to try and put it back on the charger so that I could see if, if that would do any difference whatsoever. And then at that, uh, that point, I needed to plug the charger in at the charging port and found this awesome red button right there, which um, turns it on. So uh, yeah, stupidity right there for you. I, I forgot to, to show this. It actually has a USB port, so um, you can probably charge your phone from your, from your battery on your e-bike which is kind of cool and uh, there is the charging port so yeah that was my stupidity and when you now press it it uh, tells you that we're at full power so yeah stupid me uh, the charger is really nice uh, i like the form factor it's a nice it's it's a bit it's a bit beefy it sounds like they have uh, enough space in there to uh, reduce it in size but yeah it has an LED here when the bike is not connected or the bike is fully charged this will light up green and if uh, it is charging it will light up red so you can see when the bike has done charging then it becomes green mounting it I'll just turn it off again for <laughs> and we'll go to the unlock position and put the battery in goes a little bit up slides down sits in place lock you can take the key out put it in your pocket turn the battery on it still shows full power up here we will just have a look at these paper things that i have kept on here one of them keeps falling off but i've kept it there to have it look good so this one the it's like a little certificate thing uh, fine fine then there is warm tips tiny little bit of information uh, mostly thing they put it here to make it look good I must admit. so we're done with that we can turn it on with the button on top here there e-bikes on 
so this is a kind of a weird bike because uh, the seat is not adjustable you can't adjust that in any way shape or form so the height is the height and that limits um, well you could uh, you could sit on a cushion that's but the paddling uh, can be difficult if you need a specific paddle height to make it comfortable for you but but yeah it's a one size fits all uh, this thing I think we saw that right now I do not have anything in it it's a bit wobbly I haven't figured out how to mount that no instructions on that so uh, yeah have no idea it's mounted after best effort <clears throat> so yeah I'm gonna take it for the first drive down the driveway and see if it's good by the way this is my rental car look at that number plate it uh, it more or less says asshole how rude okay so where I'm from it's getting uh, fashionable to have one of these bike helmets and just to not get into any uh, too difficult problems here I'm just gonna wear this this one was kind of funny I got this at Lidl because I was gonna review Envy bikes last time I was here but it has a stoplight uh, or a, a on the back red blinkity blink very quick blinkity blink and off we'll go with the one <laughs> so i'm gonna be wearing that so uh from where my house is it's all downhill quite a bit so um, i'm gonna take it easy because uh, carrying the camera I only have the back brake and that is not as strong as the front brake so uh, and switching camera hands midway wouldn't be nice so we're gonna film this going uphill less can go wrong doing that right now I have it at paddle assist 3 uh, one thing that I found is that uh, changing those paddle assist numbers is pretty difficult because it's this tiny little buttons under the display and yeah they could be bigger that's for sure yeah going 15 kilometers downhill uh, on the brakes so it's, it's quite a going down it will go now we are taking it easy I need to um, well it goes 26 kilometers 24 uphill 21 20 so maybe I need well there's a lot of okay that thing is that thing is in the way when you're paddling okay it is doing it 18 kilometers an hour uphill and mind you this is quite the hill you will huff and you will puff when you're going up or walking this way and I know that from experience because I, um, I go up and down it quite often so yeah my new driveway yeah <laughs> as mentioned this is my new driveway it looks kind of um, rough at the moment but there was like concrete pipes these things in here before and there were like four meters of driveway here so the driveway was only the middle part to go up the driveway which is also really steep and this road is not really that wide so um yeah now um new pipe in and this one is 6.3 meters long so quite the improvement <laughs> that's nothing to do with the bike has it no it has not 
So I'm gonna drive up and down a few times to uh, check the different pedal assist things and I'll let you know how they are. Okay, so I only got uh, to go up and down one and I, I realized that this was loose. So that brings me to a point. Um, this bike has naturally been uh, shipped from China where it's built and to Europe uh, with uh, with bolts, uh, vibrations, hours and hours on a roll. So when you get this, make sure that everything is tight. Go go around and check if all the screws are good to go, and make sure that uh, nothing has come loose. So I'm gonna use this tool that Ingwin was so cool to ship with the last uh, batch of bikes that I got, and it's like a Swiss knife for for the bikes so it has uh, different tools to tighten everything and it's available on their web page <laughs> so i thought that was pretty cool uh this time i got the normal tools with the bike so yeah yeah this needs a lot of time i'm gonna check the other one now that we have the right one out yeah that one is good okay well, there are sounds that you just don't get in a car when you're driving along. Well, you could have the window open, I guess. Well, that's a new one. Okay, so this is the local football stadium. It does not look like I'm gonna be bothering anyone here. The grass has gotten a big toll, even for a non-grass football stadium. So uh, yeah, let's go drive around here. So the two small buttons down here, this is plus and this is minus for the paddle assist. Uh, so they're really well hidden away. Then there's the light for the bicycle and the horn. We did test that. It's, it's it does not sound like power yeah <laughs> uh, then there is the power on and off button there is a nice menu system in here where you can do multiple things i am just gonna use it as is but i wanted to take the pedal assist down to one that's the wrong button Let's see how does pedal assist one work the throttle works So I think I saw about 22 kilometers per hour. So let's pedal assist two, see what. Yeah, this thing, um, I should tighten that up. It's uh, loose. I think we have, a more, we have a bit more power here. 22, 23, 24, 25. And I have to slow down because otherwise we'll end up in that wall. Further out here, is there 
there anything dangerous here? I guess not. The man tall grass here. Awesome experience. Oh, it's starting to rain. Awesome. Okay. It's starting to rain quite a bit. I'm getting wet. I think we will go over there. Okay, so the Ingwin M20 uh, bush trimmer is available in the link in the description. I'm sure they have some some sort of an offer on it or a coupon code. Um, if if so, I will have added it to the description. Oh dear, how am I gonna get home with all of this rain? So just to prove that you can look cool like hell with a bike helmet, <laughs> should probably get rid of this stuff. <laughs> Okay, it seems that the paddle assist adds a few kilometers. I'm at four now, so uh, let's go to the fifth one. So right now we were at 29 kilometers an hour, so let's see what five delivers. <sighs> I could get it up to 30. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, I must admit. Now, this is a weird angle, right? So, yeah, I hope the wind isn't too bad. You can't go too far, I only have the rare, rare break. <laughs> Another weird angle. the side because you can see my tracks going right next to it and uh, yeah that would have well I don't actually want to use this helmet for anything just want to wear it I should remove that plastic shouldn't I but at the moment it's nice to see what the buttons does so, yeah um, as said this is good fun going around and uh, not playing football It uh, runs very much like a moped, but definitely not loud. It's very quiet, so it's full throttle now, and it just whispers along. The motor just says, you can't hear the motor saying, Zzzz, but it's not noisy as a uh, motorbike or a moped normally is, so yeah, I think there is a good chance that stuff is gonna be electric in the future uh, more and more of it I'm not gonna say anything is gonna be removed right away it's gonna take a while there is still room for the petrol heads and I do see that that is also quite cool so uh, but there is a uh, possibilities here with electric mopeds bikes scooters and even motorcycles are going electric along the way and now the sun has come out and i could get the the Inguin m20 in a better light and uh, naturally now it's wet and dirty <laughs> but yeah it's still a cool little electric bike it does look good doesn't it even the two headlights might be growing on me i think we could remove the plastic isn't there hello no no they do have a 
protective plastic on here. Ah! So we are messing around with the lights. There is actually different settings, so you can get more light. It's very touchy though. You only just have to touch the button up here for it to go out. But it does turn on and off those lights. Uh, those things does not seem to come off. They're on all the time. But the headlights you can turn off. <coughs> Let's get out of here. This football stadium is a bit too crowded for me. <coughs> There's no one. <laughs> and there doesn't seem to have been anywhere for months. There's a nice hill here. Let's see if it goes up that. 14 kilometers an hour, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7. Six. It does. <laughs> Just barely. I think we were using all our power there. And the hill goes further up and it does not handle that. <laughs> um, it's really steep. I not sure that I actually want to go up here because with just one hand on the brake going down <sighs> that could get bad. I should have brought my phone so I could measure the steepness of this. I'm gonna back down. <laughs> There's a cemetery up here. And the road is really steep going down as well. But I think we can manage this part of the hill. Here is the football stadium from, from, oh, that's actually not a bad angle. Make a note of that, Martin. I will, thank you. I'm not going very fast. It's not as if it can't go faster. It's just one hand on the, on the steering wheel. No, um, only had the back brake available, and that's the, the weaker one of the two. We need to go on the cow road. Fantastic! What an asshole that lives here! So, if you're not too much of a small tool or a shovel or a spade, you should hack yourself one of these before someone else rake it out of your hands. So, the Ingwin <laughs> M20 um, is very enjoyable. It's a really nice, almost a motorcycle e bike. I'm sure that there is rules and regulations all over the world that needs to be fulfilled and to drive this legally. Uh, you should look into that. Other than that, it's just a nice bike. It does have a lot of power and I do have some very steep hills around here. So um, yeah, it got me up the hills and if it doesn't get me up the hills, I can always help with the paddling a little bit. 
Um, as said, it's not optimal position for paddling. My legs are a bit too long for this one. So um, it would be cool if this could uh, be extended a little bit. I'm sure some engineer would have a field day with uh, doing that. But other than that, it's really great. I need to wash it now because it's got very dirty and sticks and stones all over the bones. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that grass was really tall. So I think I will remove the battery before I get this wet. I have no idea if that's necessary, but well. So unlock the battery. Take it off. And we can rinse it off. Get all the grass off of there. It's mostly the tires and the gearing and stuff. I don't think there's much oil on these when they come from China. So if you uh, if you want it to last, oh, I need to take some bits off of there. If you want the the chain and stuff to last longer you should probably get some oil for it i think i need to turn it around to get a better result on the other side have the clean Enguin M20 in a better light with the mountains in the background and dog barking and olive trees and stuff oh that's a that's a fig tree well yeah Enguin M20 so what do I think well I think it makes me look extremely cool <laughs> and uh, yeah I like the Enguin bikes they're very well built I forgot to tell you the frame of the bike is aluminium so it's um, it's lighter than steel it's uh, still 34 kilograms so it's a heavy bike but it's a very light motorcycle or a moped so uh, yeah I uh, would like to say thank you to Enguin to, for shipping me this and um, wanting me to do a review of their product I am um, I do really enjoy that and Enquin is one of the companies that are really easy for us creators to work with they do not tell us to do anything other than review their bike and uh, even the bad things well I don't hear anything bad about me pointing out the bad things uh, did we find any bad things let me just have a think oh, bad things and bad things I was missing the instructions for how to mount this and it's not mounted very well so when I paddle it poof, 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 goes forth and back ish uh, would be awesome if there was some oil for the chain and stuff so that it could lubricate that so that it doesn't rust now that I've making it wet it will rust I think the double front light it's a bit too much for me but that's definitely individual taste um, what else the lake height is not adjustable what else did we find the charging was very nice uh, no I think that's about what I would let's not even call it bad things let's call it improvement opportunities oh yeah there was the wrenches where putting on the front wheel you can't really tighten it with the wrenches that are available really they're gonna shoot stuff while i'm filming that's unfortunate so let's end it with that if you're interested in this awesome e-bike uh, links are in the description naturally <laughs> and there are affiliate links i'll be laughing all the way to the bank it won't cost you a penny there is that so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye